to the new big one, the new bottle dump. Uh, after a, a rather late night last night on the live stream with uh, the treasure hunter, treasure bandit, sorry, and uh, detect it, and a guy named David Ingram, I think his name was, and Treasure Ed, had a great, great chat uh, using um, some kind of technology that we were all on there, and it was uh, it was our making up for spring detectable being cancelled meetup. So it was rather late night, but it was very, very good. Um, so uh, if I look a bit tired, that's why it was the same start as usual. But I made it down here to the riverbank, which is where I said I was going to come down. So I want to see, just on my uh, my one hour permitted walk, I want to see if there's anything eroding out of the banks and if there's anything going down towards the water. And so I'm just going to have a walk along and I'm going to see. Uh, and uh, I'll bring you back and uh, let's see what we can so find. I'm down there. Not seeing things too much, but that doesn't mean that it's not eroded out. I'm still up on top of it, so there must be bottles in the in the river as well, or the burn as we'd call it here. Uh, there was a car here. I was told there's two cars under this pile, and there's certainly one of them because that's the coil springs for it, and that looks kind of like the rest of it. Uh, I can think that's the gear stuff I can see there. Oh look, and here's another one of these. Uh, these beastie patterns like I showed you before. Uh, come on, focus. Remember I showed you this down when I did the water detecting? Um, the beautiful patterns made on the underside of the bark by the beasties. Um, but that's up the bank and that's sort of the bank that's coming down. And uh, I went back and looked at my video to see sort of how well you could see what was on the ground and it was a little bit sugary. So I've tried a different focus technique this time to see if maybe it helps bring things in. But look, yes, there's the, uh, the gear shifts for that car. And there's the steering wheel. Amazing, that is actually a car. Um, wow. So if I zoom back out on this, maybe got a bit more perspective. That's the front, there's the steering wheel, the gear sticks, and, uh, and the rest. Wow. Wouldn't expect that. I wouldn't expect that. Maybe other people would. I certainly wouldn't. So let's go along under here and see. I haven't put the harness on because my daughter came with me and she's got my finds bag and uh, my harness is in it. So I have uh, come down and I'm just carrying the camera. I have a bit more control that way. So I'm not sure what that is a frame of some sort or maybe that's still more of that car because there's another coil spring. You see that? In there. A wash tub. And it looks like a stone sort of basin there. And I think that's possibly another vehicle. Um, there. That's like an engine part or... Oh yes, there's a steering wheel. Of something. Maybe it was a tractor. It was green, whatever it was. Uh, any ideas, folks? Do you think that one's a car as well, or do you think that one's a tractor? Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say. That is almost like a tractor seat, that sort of thing there. Um, but let's have another wee looky. Something's been burrowing down in there. Oh, look, there's a big dam. That would catch stuff, wouldn't it? I'm not going down there today. I will at some point, but not today. Um, because I'm quite sure there's all sorts stuck in there. And you can see the bank going up behind me, and that's all deposition. That's all stuff in there. So, and to find out, the guy that's been giving me the information about this site, he actually owned an antique store um, fairly locally until recently, and he said the, uh, the uh, bar steward landlord decided to double the rent, so he's got a uh, a loft full of antiques at the moment that when this is all done he's got to figure out what to do with but uh, Peter once this is all over I will come and frequent you and I will come and see what you've got and I'll buy something just to say thank you so much for uh, tipping me off and about the tip ha ha no pun intended um, just looking to see if anything is eroding out because there obviously is a lot of accumulation but I'm not seeing a lot, but there is a bit of a way to get down to the bank there. So we will do that. That's the bottom of a bottle of some sort there. Well, 
let's see, what was that one? It doesn't say. It's got a lovely pattern down on the bottom. As you could cut that one off at the top to be a glass, drinking glass, but I think we're going to be so spoiled by this site that uh, we're going to get really, really picky on what we cut down and what we don't. Now, that is intact. I already have one of these, but mine has a crack down the side. So, I think I'll be keeping that one because that one, one is intact. No idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but hey, as I say, as we do this more, I probably would go, nah, I've got 10 of them. I'm not having another. But uh, until that time, it's still really cool. Right, what have we got here? Some sort of white vitreous that's broken. That's no good. That's a bottle there, but it's not that old. There are some poking out of the bank up there, but I don't know how old they are. Let's have a little wander quite carefully along and see. I've got my cut-proof gloves on, so I'm being safe. Well, that's very new, I think. Not had the top added on or anything. That one there is thin. Ah, oh, look! Here's another one of these with Iggly Wiggly top. Oh, and the bottom. That is all squinting. Oh, I'll tell you, Cy Fines would love that one. Because that is just, uh, that's his sort of thing. Isn't that cool? Yeah, no idea about age or anything. I did read something that said that dumps are always on fire. But, uh, I don't know if, if this one was. I can't tell if that says anything on it. No, it doesn't look like it does. Or these are bottles that have been thrown into fireplaces, because that one's melted as well. Or whether it was on fire. That's quite a thick piece down there. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Looky, looky. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, oh, I've got to try not to be too quiet, because I've been being told I'm too hard to hear. Oh, I think it's busted, it's busted. Oh, that was, that was exciting, briefly. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so let's see. There's some bits of white up there, but it doesn't look like anything that exciting. Let's very carefully pick our way down and along here. Let's see, there's the bottom of some sort of uh, bucket. I don't want to kick the bucket, whatever I do. No, no, no. And there's another... This thing must have been on fire, because I thought the stuff at the other one was because it was the, the, the remnants from the hotel, from the fire. But I think, actually, I think the thing that I read about tips always being on fire is actually, uh, must be true. And that these things that I'm seeing that are burned are actually burned in the dump. And I guess it's because it's probably, it's like a big compost heap, isn't it? It just stays... Uh, stays hot and compost heaps gets very very warm and of course there'll be lots and lots of organic matter in with this stuff so looky we have a tree that's gone over with exposed things underneath shall we go up there there's some broken ones there that's an uprighted one with a very piece pretty piece of glass in it I was quite disappointed. My antiques dealer said that he thought that my glass with the word level on it was from an old battery, which isn't very exciting. But then again, it's still really cool looking. So, yeah, eh. it's an old battery. I never had a glass battery. Um, that's an interesting looking one. Obviously, it's not in one piece, but it's still cool. So, let's have a, a look. What have we got there? That's just a, a sort of a creamer pot. And then we have a, a melted bottle there. And the side of a, a platter or something. That would have been. I don't think there's any identifying marks on it. No. Another big pit, a piece of creamer ware. Yeah. Not seeing anything intact poking out at me. Is that metal? Uh-huh, that is metal. I don't know what that is. 
Yeah, see, I'm getting better. I'm obviously, you know, I may have success as a metal detective yet. I can spot metal hidden on, amongst bits of dirt and rubbish and uh, other things. So I'm improving. That's quite a, a pretty ooh, shiny piece just up there. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the iridescence on that. I don't know what it was, but uh, it's quite pretty, whatever it originated its life as. And just come up here and see. Trying to keep it nice and slow because that will probably increase your ability to to pick things out as I'm moving around. About that one. Now that's blue, but it's not a poison's blue. And what about that? Nope. That one's in a bit as well. And those are all in bits. That one, that's a neck, but snapped off. That one up there is snapped off. It's the bottom of creamer wear there. Something melted under there. Did have some sort of, I don't know, safety glass or something. Okay. Let's uh, carefully, carefully back ourselves out of here. Where did I put my glove? There's my glove. It's in my pocket as I'm holding my phone with one hand. So Let's make sure I don't lose my gloves. So more broken stuff. More melted stuff. If you guys see anything after I've uh, made the video, you say, oh, go back and get this. It was there. A little handle for something. See, when I can get a spade and poke it in there and just scrape that away. Oh boy, oh boy, it's going to be so good. I'll be so excited. Let's see, there's another blue something. There's something under there. That looks intact, but uh, I'll not be being able to get that one out with my hands as I'm using eyes only. I did see something here. What is that? Oh, I think that was a cork top. See, and that would scream on the metal detector because it's probably aluminium. But we'll take it and we'll put a silver test on it. I don't think it is because it's, it's quite uh, white still. But there must be, you know, the um, those tops I was telling you about. The, uh, oh, what are they called? Um, vulcanite. That's the ones. It's coming back to me. And glass bottle lids will be in here, and they'll all be intact. That's a big, big chunk of something. Look at that beastie. Wow. That was a, a big old beastie. But yes, vulcanite stoppers will be in here. That's a rather large nail. Hey, Gavin, king of the nails, there you go. There's one for you. Look at that. I can't even fit it all in the frame. Let's see if I zoom out. There we go. I can fit it all in the frame now. That's massive. That's the kind of nail Gavin wants to find. Not stripey. And not much of anything there. There's no brick. I wonder if it's got anything written on it. The old brick. Can't really get down to it. Is that a stick? Can I employ the stick? Poke, poke, poke. Nope, that's getting too much like digging, so we'll just stop that. But that's a brick. I'm not seeing a, a maker on it, but it looks old to me. Oh, there's something. What's that? What was that? Tile. Some sort of tile that was on something. And some sort of... I have no idea what. A squashed little bottle, I think. I think that's a bottle that's ended up melted and that looks like another one of those oh that's a spade <laughs> look at that fate is taunting me it's tempting me look there's all balls over there balls over there all right i'm just going to put that down just there and i am not using it i'm a good girl i'm a good girl i keep repeating that i'm a good girl i will not dig I will respect Jamie's sacrifices and all the other NHS workers, and I will behave myself. 
sing a little song. Uh, can't really see anything up there. That's a broken neck. Not mine. Ooh, what's this? What's that? Oh, I think that maybe was the bottom of a tiny little bottle that's just snapped off rather, uh, rather nicely. And that's a bottle. It's got quite a nice sort of look to it, but no idea. Doesn't look that old. It's in the top layers. That's a, a strange big giant bit of metal there. I wonder what that is. I mean, that's, that's my hand. So that's very big. That's that, that second car he told me about this under here. Right. Let's just have a looky. Slowly and steadily have a looky looky. See, can we get down to the edge or go on this pier over the side here? Let's just have a pier over the side down into that water. We see anything eroding out the bank. Not that I can see. Ooh, I don't know, that may be a tiny bit of a tree root that bit. So let's carefully, carefully make our way around the side of this tree. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, I'm whacking in the face with sticks. That's not very good etiquette when one is walking, is it? But I need to get down there and show you. And let's have a looky see. There's a lot of rubble piled up there. It looks like it's come away, but I don't know where it's come away from. And then, here we are. We're on the bank. How exciting! What's all in here? You know what's in here metal detecting as well but i'd have to get the landowner's permission and told that the, they don't mind the bottle dump digging but metal detecting is another beast altogether so we do that right well, not right now anyway can we see anything up there zoom you in can you see anything oh i can smell the wild garlic wow see that plant right there Let's zoom you back out that wow i smell it's like i've just walked into an italian restaurant that stuff is potent. No, it's not that one. Is it this one? No, where is it? Which one is it? Because I, I can smell it really strongly. And they're eating up here. No, it's not that. That's like bluebells or something. Which one is it? I smelled it when I was down here. So, oh, it is that one. It is that one just there. That's what I'm smelling. Very strong. Um, my sister lived in the neighboring market town for a while in a flat, and directly behind her was just tons and tons of this stuff. And when it bloomed, that was all you could smell. It was so strong. Um, and while it is pleasant, kind of, you know, in an Italian restaurant, if you... Uh, live somewhere and that's all you can smell all the time is not so much so what's this there's something there that's a rim of something but i'm not seeing anything right the daughter has appeared we don't want to show her on camera unless we ask permission she might squawk so uh, i'm just going to shut you off until i get to the next little bank and then we'll look again here we have a lovely abbey find this says edinburgh on it and it says murray and it's quite thick at the bottom. Uh, I think it does have a seam going up to the top. So, but I don't know what Murray of Edinburgh is. But that's an interesting one. And then I have found a Gordon's Special Dry London Gin, established 1769. Again, not that old, but it's got the registered on the back. 61067, I think that says. And it's stamp it at the bottom. Uh, again, I don't think it's that old, but uh, we are only looking at the top layer of what's here. So uh, we've just cut to this bit. So we are going to turn off the camera so we can actually get down that safely, have a quick look around. And if we find anything interesting, we'll bring you back. Right, Tony's thinking caps on. What in the world could that be? It's huge. 
Is it whole? Oh. Somebody's reject, unfortunately. What in this that is massive. Look, massive bit of metal. Move that way, and then there's like that thing. What is that? What is that great giant piece of stuff? And look, it's our friend the bucket. It's back again. No, no buckets. At least it's not a teapot. That's a burial urn. Haha. -ha. We'll see you soon. Right, so we've got Abby, youngest daughter, helping out, and she's going to tell us about the things that she's found. So. Okay. okay. So this, Mum says, are in pots. I think so. Um, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I just picked them up because I thought they were pretty. <laughs> they are very cute. Um, this is, um, well, again, I just pick things up because they're pretty. <laughs> um, but it has their paste Meat jars. paste pots. Yeah. Yep. Or fish paste. One of those. Um, so have you talked about this? No, I haven't. Okay, so... Um, she wins the day. <laughs> we haven't seen what Gavin's got yet here, but... Um, it's a... A Dingwall lemon bottle and it's in pretty much good perfect condition. It's in perfect condition. It doesn't um, have its uh, its little grosh lid but I'm sure we can get those more than we can get intact Dingwall lemon balls. I'm absolutely thrilled at that she is. I'm so glad we brought her <laughs> just because I'm glad that she came out anyway but that is just super super cool. Yeah. Um, that one. Oh dear. Um, what else have we got? A Schweppes ball. <laughs> um, this one is uh, another. We keep finding these Edinburgh bottles. Um, one of them said Murray on them, and these ones say McEwen. Or, yeah. So that'll McEwen. be a beer ball. Um, it's a very it, big beer bottle, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm going to the pub and downing that. Maybe it's the pubs and they pour it out. Before Maybe. they had kegs, I don't know. People that know, tell us, please. <laughs> um, this one's a, a Heinz bottle, and it just reminds me of the ketchup bottles. It's, well, that's Heinz. That probably is a ketchup bottle from um, the 1950s. <laughs> that one. Check out this one. AI or A1, A1. sauce. <clears throat> um, yep. The original okay. thick sauce. Yeah. I just saw writing and thought I might as well pick yep. that up. Looks perfect. I don't know if you get A1 sauce in this country. We get it in America. I don't, I, I, I sure haven't Heinz, seen it. Heinz, 50, Heinz 57 sauce and you get a, A1 in the States. And what about that little roundy one there? This one mum picked up Brill Cream, which... Hair gel, yeah? Yeah, hair gel. Um, Isn't that cool? So cool. Very old. And then this one, well, I think that's just a junker, but it was cool. It's like a Pond's cold cream or something. Um, and then this very cool bit of glass that I just thought was lovely. And then another candidate for Gavin to cut down. This one says... Wit bread and co, cool. and then it's got I believe that's Nessie on it and oh. trademark, and then it says London, but that looks like Nessie to me. Does that look like Nessie to you? Yes, I would say that looks like Nessie. So, why it's London Dry, but uh, we'll have to find out where Wit bread was. And if it's London Dry, that is it say London Dry or just London? Just London, London. Oh, right, I was gonna say it's gin, but uh. Whitbread is definitely a pub, so some kind of Loch Ness uh, ale or something. But we can cut that down and make that into an absolutely fabulous uh, drinking glass with the cool Nessie on it. So uh, yeah. those are our treasures, and I think our hour's probably about up. I think I have converted Abby. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Something's still in that one. I think I have converted Abby. She has thoroughly enjoyed herself. And, uh, well, I think she has. She keeps bringing cool things to me and going, oh, look at this, look at this. So that's not the sign of somebody that's hating it. And, uh, yeah, so I think we'll we'll get everything wrapped up nicely and put in our bags and then head back home. And, uh, yeah, we'll come out again in a few days and see what we can find eyes only because we haven't even gone that whole part of the site down there. It just goes and goes and this is the one that when I was climbing along, I think I said, you have to, I'll have to go up next to the fence and then come back down because there's a bunch of tree fall. But I can see from down on the, the water side, down at the river, that it just keeps going. So much, much more to discover. And like I found the spade down the other end. So uh, when we can actually dig, I've just left it here, tucked away. And uh, But lots more to discover and we will bring you back. Thanks for joining us. I had to come back just to show you that our friend... The burial urn teapot 
Its bottom may not be here, but its top is. I should take that back to the other farm and put it with the other one because it matches it perfectly. Actually, I don't know if it's a teapot. It might be a pot. But anyway, it's a good story. See you soon.